Hello and welcome to Iskaria.com. My name is Dr. Heather Ali. With Iskaria.com, you can enjoy lectures everywhere and anytime. Today I'm going to talk about a very, very important topic, diabetic emergencies. Let's run through the timeline. First, we will talk about the dangerous sign or the warning sign, which are called red flag signs of diabetic emergencies. How would the patient present? And if the patient is presenting with the complication of diabetes or it's just due to the diabetes? What should be the first thing to be noticed in a patient with certain uh, clinical presentation? Will be discussed under this section. What is the pathophysiology of diabetic ketoacidosis? We'll explain how would a patient present in diabetic ketoacidosis? What causes ketoacidosis? What is the outcome? What should be asked in a patient with diabetic ketoacidosis or suspected diabetic ketoacidosis? What question needs to be answered by the patient? What should be digged out of the, of the, of the answers the patient is giving to you? So this is, these are the very important questions will be explained under this section. What will be the examination findings in the patients with diabetic ketoacidosis? What, what to look for? For example, tachycardia, fluid deficit, persistent hypertension, altered mental status. These all should be taken con under consideration. What other features? For example, cosmol respirations, fruity breath, these are all symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis. So what will be the findings when you do physical examination in the patient with diabetic ketoacidosis? Management of diabetic ketoacidosis. This is the far most important topic and subtopic in patients with diabetic ketoacidosis. How to approach, what to give, what is the mainstay of resuscitation, how to give how to uh, lower, uh, lower the blood sugar levels and what should be the target of blood sugar levels that should be achieved, how to deal with electrolytes that are imbalanced in diabetic ketoacidosis, what are the outcomes in patients or special patients, for example, pediatric patients, uh, uh, pregnant patients and patients with multiple co-diseases, for example, renal diseases and myocardial infarctions. What are the complications of diabetic ketoacidosis? What are the life-threatening complications? How rapidly within certain limits and range should a patient be treated in diabetic ketoacidosis? What should be taken care of while addressing in diabetic ketoacidosis? Next would be hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state and other, hyper, and other diabetic emergencies, mainly in patients with type 2 diabetes. What is the pathophysiology? What happens when there is a decreased insulin or lack of insulin? What will happen? What are the outcomes? What are the uh, products that are made within, uh, within the body due to lack of insulin and lack of glucose utilization? And what are, their, what, is their, what are their significance? What should be the patient's history be related to in hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state? how variable the patient can present to, what can be the complications of the patients and diabetes that can present in emergency department, for example, stroke, myocardial infarction. Next would be, what would be the examination findings on the patients and the patients with hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state? What to look for, for example, altered mental status, volume depletion, life-threatening injuries, diagnostic testing, the number of investigations that should be carried out in the patients with hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state, rule out any infective cause, precipitant factors, and how is your treatment benefiting this patient can be rechecked with serial lab investigations, if the patient is getting better or not. 
how do you manage? It is as similar, uh, it is similar to diabetic ketoacidosis, but it should be the main, the main say should be in diabetic ketoacidosis and hyperosmolar hypoglycemic state is fluid resuscitation. How to give fluids, what type of fluid should be given will be discussed under this uh, section. Hypoglycemia, it's another medical emergencies. How to, what, what is the most common cause? How would a patient present to you? What should be done even if you don't know the cause? What is the pathophysiology of hypoglycemia? How do you manage a patient's in hypoglycemia in emergency department? What should be given? Whom should be admitted? Whom should not be admitted? Watch complete lectures on Ascaria.com. You can start your free trial today and enjoy thousands of medical lectures, which include basic sciences, clinical sciences, and much more. Thank you for watching Iscardia.com.